sometimes patients are, com uh, are confused about the terms of what type of therapy they're receiving. So chemotherapy, they're the conventional therapy for cancer. They target rapid growing cells. So when, uh, what other, what rapid growing cells in your, body, in your body other than cancer, uh, your blood cells, you make blood all the time, and that's why we can donate blood, because we make blood all the time. And hair follicles, because we cut our hair, our hair grow quickly, the lining of our GI tract. So, the, so that reflects how conventional chemotherapy, uh, the side effects on patients. So patients with conventional chemotherapy, uh, what we see, the common side effects of fatigue, uh, maybe their blood counts may, may be dropped, or they may have health thinning or health loss, or they may have mouth sores and GI side effects. And target therapy, a new term that uh, came, came about in the, in the late 90s, and it, it indicates a class of medication that target um, certain signaling transduction pathways in the cancer cells. So those medications usually have the class side effects. They don't share the typical side effects of chemotherapy. So the common side effects for target therapy are maybe the change in blood pressure, hypertension, and skin changes like hand food reaction, or GI toxicities patient can have diarrhea. And so the side effects are somewhat different compared to uh, traditional uh, chemotherapy. Immunotherapy uh, came about probably five, six years ago. And um, how does immunotherapy work? And so first, how, uh, how, why do patients develop cancer? So uh, cancer looks different from us, from our normal cells. Uh, usually when a cancer cell is formed, our immune system immunity actually tackles the, the cancer cells and kill the cancer cells, so the cancer cannot form a tumor until the cancer does a trick to, the, to your immunity. And we call, they put a so-called immune breaks, it's like a car break. When they put the immune break on your immunity, your immunity either cannot see the cancer cells or cannot attack the cancer cells. So the, the new immunotherapy is try to release some of those immune breaks. So when, um, when we give patients those drugs, if, the, if their cancer use this immune break to defend themselves against the patient's immun immunity, then patient will have a great response because we, re we will have the patient's immune system attack the cancer. And but if um, patient's tumor does not use this immune break, and then this immunotherapy will not work. And currently scientists are trying to discover many more immune breaks and to try to, 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 to find drugs that will break those more different immune breaks can support our immunity. And so now side effects, and it's related how they work. So if you release the immune break Sometimes you increase immunity in your body and you can have immune-mediated side effects, which can occur in every organ system. And fortunately, they are not very common and we can reverse it by giving medication immunosuppressants such as steroid. So um, immune-mediated side effects, if it occurred in the skin, it's skin rash. And if it occurs in the bowel, it's diarrhea. If it occurs in the lung, it's cough and shortens the breath. So when patient is treated with the immunotherapy, it's very important if they develop new symptoms, they should communicate that with the physicians to determine if that's treatment related because those side, effect, side effects can be reversed quickly if, if they are discovered early.